Kids we know love yeah. digging in the dirt. And introducing your kids to gardening can not only give them a fun, lifelong hobby, but it can also provide lessons in math, in science, in art, and even patience. Elise McGregor, owner of Little Newton's Early Ch uh, Education Centers, is here with some of her favorite uh, kid-friendly gardening projects. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. All Thanks right. How, first of all, how do you get your kids to work in the garden? It's a high time <laughs> I get my kids to do some work. You know, I think it's making it fun and making it um, a project, a family-oriented experience for everyone. And the kids love digging in dirt. They love getting their yeah. hands wet. I can't stop my son from doing this. So <laughs> we need to figure out a way to make this beneficial for me. We've got some uh, potted plants. You can show us a couple of things we could do. Yeah. So um, with the plants, I also brought a measuring cup. And one thing that you could do was you could teach them how to whole half different type of measuring. Oh, sure. Then you can play with the dirt. It's fun for him, but he's also learning with it, um, as well as learning how to plant the seeds. I didn't have the seeds in there because it's not going to grow very fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. But they they can enjoy watching that and um, kind of having that ownership of planting, patting the. Plant. You also have kind of a plant watering schedule, which I really like because you can start with a kid as young as probably uh, three years old, and you're yeah. teaching a little bit about uh, scheduling. Tell us about the watering plant. Yeah, you know, this teaches patience. It also teaches accountability, and it's very fun. They get excited in the morning to water their plants. Mm -hmm. They're oh, keeping yeah. track of it as well as, like I said, they're watching the plant grow. You can do a little arts and crafts here as well. Yep, and so this is a flower that's made out of a toilet paper roll, and it's a great project for little kids, older kids. They just may need some help with um, cutting. And then this is an interesting art where you use pins mm. to kind of trace around it. Sure. They enjoy um, that as well as learning about the parts of the plants. Teaches a little bit of that kind of coordination. And, yeah, and fine motor. Sure, fine and motor skill. I'm and they're learning as well. Anything sharp, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little older. But you're okay. adding in some research too and understanding what the parts of a plant are. Yep, exactly. And that brings us to science for the older kids. They're mm -hmm. able to color it as well as learn the parts of the plants. What is this part called? <laughs> I'm playing. I don't. <laughs> I can never pronounce it. Right. Petioles. Petioles. Yeah. I mean, come on. All right, I didn't mean to Got put the you vein. on the spot. That's okay. Like the blade. That's no worries. All right. Um, and then flashcards are a great way to teach them how the plants grow, steps, they're learning science as well as categorizing, which brings me to the um, puzzles. They're, it's kind of like a memory That's game. Cool. You can turn them over, Fine. you Perfect. can pair them together. And um, then I just brought a few books. We use these a lot where the kiddos like to look through them and identify, identify what, them. Yeah, yeah, really cool. See this is all great. I mean, you're teaching observation. You can even do things with rulers to measure like how, yep. uh, how high it's grown. Mm -hmm. Really great stuff. Very fun. All right, we'll both go back and do some studying, right? I'm still trying to figure <laughs> out how to get my kid to stop eating the dirt. So that would be ideal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank, thank you, Thanks, Elise. Elise. Thanks.